Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There is an SBC that we are looking forward to in the Future Stars promo this year in FIFA 23 because it dropped last year and it was such a game-changing player pick SBC. This SBC last year bridged the gap between Future Star cards of old, the first promo year in FIFA 19, all the way to the current FIFA. There were the current release of FIFA promo cards from all those players that got Future Stars in this one player pick. It was a massive player pick and it was such cool content that we had never seen before and it dropped one year ago on this Tuesday in FIFA 22. So we're hoping that it would come pretty soon or maybe even today in FIFA 23. And that's what I want to talk about in today's video is how would an SBC like that Future Stars reunion player pick that we know from last year impact the game if it were dropped today and this week and that's honestly a piece of content that so many of us would love to see yes we had an 85 plus player pick that was dropped yesterday in this game that we get to do every single day and sbc fodder because of this is rising but if we got a future stars reunion player pick stuff would go crazy because that was one of the most popular gamble sbcs and just fun player picks to open of the entire year last year now we're going to talk about that but we're also going to talk about what's going on in the here and now with the swap reward SBCs actually being available now as we talked about yesterday these are here but now there's more questions we have should you maybe if you haven't opened them yet save an 85 times 10 save an 84 times 20 for up prom upcoming promos like foot birthday maybe road to the final there's a lot to think about and to talk about with this swap token grind with yet another swap token dropping yesterday via SBC so we'll talk about all that and what else to expect today on FIFA 23 in terms of the market and content. So if you're excited for today, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this player pick SBC, the Future Stars Reunion player pick. And last year, the reason why this was so hype was because it was a surprise, right? We had no idea this was coming. It's a player pick. It doesn't have to be added to the code. There's no, usually no leaks for types of SBCs like this either. But the hype was you would earn a player pick containing FUD22, the current FIFA special versions, of former Future Stars players. So for this year, it would be players that have FIFA 23 promo cards that were once in Future Stars. And there's so many players that could be involved in this, right? You take a look at players that were in packs last year. We had Vinny Jr. Think about Vinny Jr. special cards we have this year. Two different ones, right? Holland, team of the year. Phil Foden, a really great um, team of the tournament card from the World Cup. Hakimi has a Phenoms card. All of these guys and their special versions in this FIFA of 23 would be in this player pick along with... All of the future stars that were in last year's FIFA 22 squad, those future star players, their current promo items in FIFA 23 would be available in this player pick as well. And another reason why this player pick was so exciting last year was it was cheap. 100,000 coins, and I believe we got to do it a couple times, and it was a one of four player pick as well. So... You got four options. Now, yes, there are a lot of insane players that could be available, right? We talked about Vinny, Joao Felix. Think about their cards this year. We've got a winter wild cards, Joao Felix. We have a path to glory, Frankie de Young. Um, you know, team of the year cards, probably not going to be available in this pick. So like Militao and Holland and Akimi, probably like last year at Akimi, they do like the foot phenoms instead of uh, the team of the year card. But there are so many W's from this SBC, but there's also a lot of L's, right? There's a lot of guys that maybe just have an inform or just have one lower rated special card like Lacroix was a future star all he has this year is like an 85 rated rule breakers card so that would be available in this player pick as well but for a cost of 100,000 coins that's why there's a lot of hype there and I mean the, the 100,000 coins price tag came in because it was an 85 rated squad with two inform requirements and this is part of why the low rated fodder market and we talked about this a couple weeks ago we knew that this time of the year usually brings out a lot of packs and party bags and player picks like this, which is why we started looking at investing in fodder. I mean, guys, we have SBC fodder prices right now of 84s that are like 5,000 coins. Last year, 84s went to max price 10, 11, 12,000 coins when all of these SBCs came out and when the peak of all the demand was there for these future star cards. So I'm not telling you to go invest because again, it is not guaranteed that we get this SBC, but this would be the SBC that would make future stars complete. Since we saw it last year and since there was so much hype for this SBC last year, we almost feel like EA would be, it'd be a crime if they didn't drop it this year in the game. Now again, the difference between last year and this year as well is last year's FIFA 22 future stars players would be available 
in this, right? So Jude Bellingham, he was not available in that last year, his special cards. But this year, our Jude Bellingham Phenoms card, probably not the team of the year again, but the Phenoms card would be available. Uh, Smith Rowe's got a Rule Breakers card. Vlahovic has an SBC. I don't know. I don't remember if SBCs were involved in this or not, but he had the Phenoms SBC. Uh, we have a Konate, Road to the Knockouts. We have a Pedro Porto Inform. So, I mean, there are going to be more future stars that would be packable from this player pick this year just because, you know, including the future stars uh, from last year's team, which I believe uh, there was a team two as well. If I can find a team two, there were some more big names in that one. So Pedri, right? Gravenberch has the win to wild cards. Nunez wants to watch would be available. Adams wants to watch would be in this player pick. Ferran Torres has the showdown SBC. Again, I'm not sure if SBCs would be available in it, but you guys get the point. There will be so many great cards that would be available to be packed from this SBC if it were dropped this year. Now, again, is it going to drop today? I don't know. And I'm talking this SBC up a lot because it was so popular last year and so hyped that it has to be talked about because it's kind of what made the Future Stars promo last year so hype and so cool was we had multiple of these types of SBCs. We had another party bag last year. The day after they dropped this player pick, another party bag came out the day after that. And the, the way it was so hyped as well is because it was just cheap. 110, 115,000 coins. If they would do it like that again this year, it's just such a cheap price, and that's why, I mean, if you guys have SBC fodder, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys have sold because prices have already gone up, but if an SBC like this were to drop again, you would absolutely see, if, especially if it's in the same price range, fodder cards would even go higher, and this is kind of the breakthrough for a lot of us that have invested in informs. This would be like an insane two inform requirement. If they did that again, that would make those cards go crazy. So there's a lot of if and speculating and all that stuff around this, but 110,000 coin SBC like it was last year, would be absolutely insane. Now, on the flip side of things, would there be a bit of a market crash because of this? Well, I don't know if there'd be a full-on market crash because it takes multiple of these types of SBCs and multiple of these types of coin drain opportunities to really make the market drop off that much. But some of the cards like a Vinny Jr., Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, which could be a part of that player pick as an item that would come out of it, could a player like this drop? Maybe not Vinny so much, but Maybe the Frankie de Jong that we mentioned or the uh, Winter Wild Cards version of the Joao Felix card that we mentioned. I don't even know how much this guy is right now. 350,000 coins. You know, a card like this would probably be more packed than a Vinny Jr. in a player pick like that. So he could, yes, potentially drop off a bit if people are packing this card in uh, their ultimate team untradeable. If they already have it, then they would sell it. You know, that sort of thing, especially for the lower tier, more common cards, you would absolutely see that. So I'm not telling you to panic sell by any means, because again, there is no guarantee this SBC is dropping today or dropping soon. But I just wanted to talk about it for the beginning of the video today, because it was such a hyped player pick last year that it changed future stars. And again, I just don't think EA can like continue throughout future stars without dropping something like this, because it was just so insane last year. It was crazy. So again, I'm not telling you to panic sell, but if an SBC like that would drop, you would see market movements, fodder going up, and those cards that were in that pack, even though that pack is untradeable, you would probably see some of them that are in that still drop in price as people would panic sell the tradable ones they maybe have if they packed an untradable one from the SBC. So just watch out for that. I hope it's today. I really do. But I mean, it'd be kind of crazy if it was today as well, because that would be like EA copying themselves from last year. So we have fingers crossed, but we're not saying it's 100% possibility by any means. Now, 100% possibility for today is the 85 plus player pick refreshing. This is on a 24 hour refresh timer. It's an 84 squad, uh, and I think an inform as well, which is really not that great of value, but it's not that expensive either. And alongside of this yesterday, EA dropped an 82 plus upgrade pack, which for the value looks really, really good. But I'm telling you guys, I've done some of these. They are very hit or miss. Sometimes you'll be getting consistent 84s, 85s. I mean, even if you get an 83, it's not terrible. But, you know, you're only spending seven players, three non-rares and four rares. That's where the value really is with this. But I get so many 82s that it really does not feel that worth it. So if we do get, end up getting more player picks throughout this week, like a reunion or a party bag or anything along those lines, I'm probably going to end up doing more of those to get the fodder I need. Uh, but just kind of to let you guys know that those are very hit and miss. Let me know what you guys have been figuring out from them down in the comments. But for me, they have just been so average. Now, of course, yesterday as well, we had the swaps. And that's where I wanted to bring up another conversation. Should you be holding some of these packs? Now, I opened the three token Future Stars Team 1 guaranteed player pack. I got Gehi, the center back. 
Not that great of a pull, but it could have been worse. And I oh, I saw a lot of people, and we opened some on stream, open 85 times 10s, 84 times 20s. There were some really good packs yesterday. We packed Mudrick for a couple guys, uh, well, one guy in particular, and a lot of like Elanga, and a lot of packs with like some of the fodder uh, Future Stars cards. They were popping a lot out of this SBC, uh, these SBCs. But I only have to imagine, think about the couple of promos that are heading in the next couple of weeks as well. We get into March, we talk about football birthday like road to the final champions league guys starts up one week from today next week a couple games today on a tuesday i think road to the final is our next promo after future stars is over with team two you know going out of packs not this friday but next friday so just kind of keep that in mind if there's nothing in this promo for this promo team that you really really want to pack yeah it's going to be hard to pack mudrick alvarez adiemi gavi and those sorts of guys not impossible just really difficult. Keep that in mind. If you want to save a pack like this, what I usually say is an 85 times 10 or an 84 times 20 pack, you know what you're getting, right? You're getting a lot of fodder and you're getting this big of a chance for a big time player that is in packs from a promo team. So whether it's you're saving and hoping for a chance at a player in the promo team, or uh, you just want the fodder for when there's other SBCs out that you could do, just kind of make that decision. But think through that a little bit as well. You know, road to the final, live cards that upgrade. Foot Birthday has brought out some of the best promo cards in previous years. Like, they increased the power curve so much. That's always a fan favorite promo. So just kind of keep that in mind. I don't know if there's a really a right answer. It just kind of depends up to you and what you want to do with the SBCs and how much fodder you have and what is in packs, of course. But... Um, talking about fodder a little bit more, we did see prices jump up yesterday because of that 85 plus player pick specifically. Like we looked at the Bastoni, all the 84s are up. 83s are starting to rise as well. And yes, they could go higher with we, if we get other SBCs later on this week, but also they could go down a little bit as well. If we get some tradable supply from like a daily challenge SBC dropping uh, the tokens like every single day, we're not almost, well, almost every single day, not every day, but we're getting a lot of those SBCs that are dropping packs along with the token that could put some tradable supply on the market which could hurt fodder just a little bit but probably not that much especially today with another 85 plus coming i would expect to see another rise on 83s 84s 85s and 86s haven't risen up that much but especially if we get more sbcs they could continue to go up a little bit more now a part of yesterday's content that we were kind of I don't know, is confused about as well. It's a W card, a nice upgrade, but the way that we get this card is something we have never seen before. We talked about it on stream, an objective that is completed solely through foot champs, playoffs, and finals. I'm not a huge fan of that because I do think it limits some of the population that plays FIFA. They're not going to be able to get this card because I know for some people it's really tough to get into weekend league. And that's why I think EA should have done this still in Arrivals or squad battles or a friendly mode but they have gone ahead and done it in foot champs playoffs now the good thing is you have a long time to do it 34 35 days basically to get this done that should give you multiple weekend leagues multiple opportunities at champs playoffs so hopefully you can get in if you really 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 want this card a uh, new club change for anthony gordon and it's a nice card right four star five star a really nice upgrade you could also say nate why not just go do the player of the month rashford it's very similar it is but if you like a gameplay grind that's going to be a pretty unique card for anthony gordon probably the best one that he gets all year unless you get some promo later on in the year uh but that's uh one of the pieces of content that we had yesterday that was just kind of interesting and kind of crazy now a couple other things let's talk market right making coins yesterday was a very nice thing to do again because the market and prices everywhere were just kind of doing bits right there was a little bit of panic on a few cards yesterday i bought these sanchos at 350 355,000 coins right around the content drop when we saw the 85 plus player pick yesterday there were just a couple cards that were down a bit right i think sancho's back up now right where i sold him 390 400,000 coins so he was down a little bit he kind of bounced back up and a lot of your future stars once again um had some very nice bounces so a lot of the cards that you saw me buying last night like um the mudrick that i bought at 1.05 he went back up and is right now again 1.17 1.18 the adiemi that you literally saw me buy on the video last Last night i sold him too early i sold adiemi at uh 380,000 coins he's 420,000 coins at the moment has been above a 400k range since uh the content dropped yesterday and a lot of the rest of the future stars cards kept rising as we normally see them do now again today's tuesday and uh tuesday is usually if we take a look through the week cycle of things usually 
it's when the market starts to drop just a little bit. I'm not trying to, you know, again, instill any fear or any panic. And I'm not saying the price drops are going to be that crazy either. I'm just saying that today could be a day where we maybe see the market kind of just start to slowly dip right because we get more content the 85 plus is going to refresh once again now there is gameplay demand out there of course as people are trying to get that um, objective done for the gordon that's not probably a ton of gameplay demand but just your normal rivals your normal uh qualification grind and stuff like that there is gameplay demand but usually tuesdays is when we see kind of the peak for some cards and for these future star cards as well if I was looking to buy any of them for my team, I don't think I'd be investing in them or want to be buying them right now. I do believe that there could be some price drops later on for them later on in the week with marquee matchup supply, any more of these uh, other you know, daily token SBCs that would give out a token in a tradable pack. That could impact these guys' price a little bit more as well. So just be careful, honestly, uh, with any of these until we get to the latter part of the week, especially if we start getting leaks for Team 2 of Future Stars. Um, that would also potentially impact a few of these card prices which we might see leaks for those guys here in the next couple of days so just absolutely watch out for that now other things to watch out for today on a tuesday we have a couple of uh i guess leaks you could call them it's not 100 percent a leak but ea is out here again um kind of juicing up the hype on their talent scout sbc or whatever it is another vote was released yesterday training was successful so pace won that vote we need your help one more time our staff wants to continue with the working uh, of the up-and-comer to improve another aspect of their game. The, the vote here is between weak foot and skill moves. I voted for skill moves just for the fun, right? And it's pretty close, 53 to 46% on all the votes that are here. Uh, this SBC, I mean, I'm feeling today or tomorrow, honestly. I don't know who it's going to be. The voting ends here in, like, when this video is going to be going live. So um, it's going to be over, basically when this video goes live you can't go and vote on it so if you haven't then maybe you missed out but uh this might be pretty soon i mean last year we had a couple different talent scout sbcs remember that like arthur cabral was one of them the brazilian uh striker from the Serie A. so again we have no idea who this is probably we'll get a leak on that but uh it looks like we're getting a pace upgrade and a skill move upgrade the way the voting looks right now on whoever this is going to be so that's cool and then also we have a a leak for another future stars academy player nuno tavares um some nice again doozy links also payet also eric Bay. if you guys uh jonathan Kloss had a, a, any of these cards in your team or uh still in your club i turned mine into sbcs a little bit sorry to admit but uh this could be a pretty nice league one left back portuguese links you think about renato sanchez a lot of possibilities with the marseille links with the uh, portuguese links as well in the league on and hopefully these stats are maybe juiced up a little bit more on the defending and physical a bit more of a boost like anthony gordon please ea sports i'm not sure when this would drop as well i would doubt it that we would get two players back to back maybe this is not going to drop until friday but maybe it will come sometime in between then as well maybe like a little friday monday time frame i don't exactly know but that is our next future stars academy leak on this game so today on tuesday big question mark honestly in terms of content we have the 85 plus player pick refresh um i would expect to see maybe some more tokens available today via the um the tuesday refresh of first owner fiesta ford fiesta right so this was kind of a tough one last week to get tokens from i would not be disappointed if ea only did one token from this this week and just win one game in homegrown 11 that'd be great ea if you would want to do that for us that'd be nice um but that might be where our token drops out of today and then other than that i'm not expecting a whole else lot of content besides the refresh that piece of token uh stuff there and then maybe the future stars reunion player pick and i really think that would set things off and i i'd really hope they do it ea just go all out come on like just drop the big boy sbcs that we want to see the player picks the party bags make future stars fun like did last year yes it might impact the market a little bit yes some prices may fall off later in the week or next week but that was some it's such incredible content and we would love to see it again so hopefully that is dropping today we'll be watching it all happen live on stream that link's down below in the description if you haven't checked this out there before make sure you do that but if you enjoyed today's video smash that thumbs up button comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan for the account i'll catch you guys later peace